In everyday life, Google Maps is a navigation tool. But from a professional point of view, it is a huge database. And to make the most of it, you can make use of the Google Maps API. But what is an API? An API stands for Application Programming Interface. It is an interface that enables you to use the functionalities of a third-party system without having to worry about its internal workings. For example, driving applications provide access to a map and GPS tracking. A map that shares a lot of similarities with Google Maps. Rather than reinventing the wheel, the application prefers to use the Google Maps API to directly integrate its functionalities. Of course, the Google Maps API is much more than a simple map. It can be used in a wide variety of ways. To find out about all the use cases, you need to go to console.cloud .google.com. Then I click on the navigation menu, API on services and library. I scroll down a little bit and I click on the maps tab. And here is the full list. With these APIs, interactive maps can be displayed and manipulated. We can integrate a customized map directly into our web page. We can choose the zoom level, the information displayed, the colors, and even the theme. Some developers even had fun creating a map related to the Myers world. Maps Elevation API. This is an API for topography. Based on coordinates, we can find out the height of a location. This value can be positive or negative. Maps Embed API. You can embed a Google Maps map in an iframe tag on your website. All without JavaScript. This is often found on online directories where a business name is associated with a point on the map. Which brings me to our next API, Maps JavaScript API. You can also customize a map by adding cursors, directions, or simply location-specific data. Map SDK for Android. Create interactive interactive maps for your Android applications, Maps SDK for iOS, the same thing for iOS applications, Maps Static API. With a simple HTTP request, you can embed the Google Maps image on a website. We are talking about a static image here, not an interactive map. Roads API. We trace the route taken by a user. Directions API, quite self-explanatory. We obtain the direction between two locations. These locations can be expressed in text or geographic coordinates. And just like a normal use of Google Maps, the route can be taken by car, bike, foot, or public transport. Geocoding API, transforms addresses into coordinates with latitude and longitude. Also transforms coordinates into addresses. Geo Geolocation API. This is a solution for geolocating a device via a relay antenna or a Wi-Fi access point. At the same time, a radius is obtained showing how accurate the result is. We could go on and on, but there is another major feature of the Google Maps API. With this API, you can search for businesses on the platform. This is done via the Places API, which provides data on over 200 million businesses, we can of course filter this data according to our own criteria, business type, rating, location, wheelchair access, and so on. The Google Maps API can also be used to calculate routes and distances. As we said, Google Maps is also a GPS. We have already talked about the Directions API for creating an itinerary, but we can have an even more specific use thanks to the Distance Matrix API. API. Here you can calculate the distance and travel time between a starting and an ending point. Of course, you don't have to use just the Google Maps API. This API can also be used with other Google tools. Street View Publish API. Street View needs no introduction. That's what makes this 360 degree image possible. Street View Static API. Similar to the Map Static API, you can integrate a Street View image in to a web page. Time Zone API. Based on coordinates, the Time Zone API returns a UTC, a universal coordinated time. This harmonizes dates around the globe. Now we can raise one question. How do I get started with the Google Maps API? Before you can use the Google Maps API, you need to obtain 
an API key. The process is similar to what we have done before, meaning we go to console.cloud.google.com and the first thing we are going to do is to create a new project. I select a project, I create a new project, I add a name to my project and I create it. My project has been created, I select it, now I have to identify a specific API or to be more specific an API related to a map, something like Places API. The problem with the Google Maps API is that if I enable my API, I also have to create a billing account. So I'm not going to do it because obviously the Google Maps API is a paid API. So I'm going to show you what is next with a free API, something like Google Sheets. I select my API, I enable it, and it has been done with just a click. Now I click on my navigation menu, EAM and admin, and service accounts. I create a service account. The only thing I have to fill in is the service account ID, create and continue, and done. An email has been created, I click on it, and I'm able to create my key. I click on the keys tab, I add a key, I create a new key, and I choose a JSON file. And there it is, it contains a lot of different things, including my private key ID. Once you have done this, you can integrate the API into your projects. Not being a developer myself, I don't find this easy. But fortunately, you can benefit from the code examples provided by Google. Finally, bear in mind that using the Google Maps API comes at a cost. You can take a look at the price list at mapsplatform.google.com slash pricing. As we have seen, Google Maps has plenty of different APIs. And maybe you are interested in commercial use, namely the Places API, the API that will enable us to gather business information based on a category and a location. Nevertheless, this API suffers from a few limitations. To begin with, you can only retrieve 120 results per query. Secondly, you can get phone numbers, but not email addresses. Finally, fees vary from $32 to $40 per 1,000 results. To fill this gap, we have created Scrap.io. Scrap.io is a tool specifically designed to scrape Google Maps within a few clicks. And by creating your account via the link in the description, you also benefit from our API. The major difference with the Places API is that you can get a lot more data. Not only do you have access to Google Maps data, you also have access to data displayed on websites. These include metadata, social networks, and email addresses. Moreover, you no longer suffer from the 120 result limit. For example, if you want to scrape all 7,000 restaurants in New York, you can do it in a single query instead of 60 by using the Google Maps official API. Finally, extracting your first 100 leads is free of charge. The link remains in the description. This is the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If it's the case, you can give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions regarding Scrub.io, you can ask them in the comments or directly contact our customer support. See you next time.